What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back. And guys, thank you for all the support. We're about to hit 800. And yeah, we got the green screen today. I said I would change it up here and there. So yeah, we got the new green screen stand. It's looking beautiful. I'm liking it. It's looking a lot better. No more lighting problems and stuff like that. So yeah, guys, this is Market Talk Tuesday. Before we get into the video, drop 10K in the comments. Like the vid. Sub if you are new. Let's get this one to 80 likes. Uh, Market Talk Tuesday has been actually really well for my channel. This is the fourth episode in the series. We just talk about the market, see what's good, what's going to go down Friday, all that good stuff. How to prepare for Friday, pretty much. And like, what to do, who to buy, who to sell, and all that good stuff. So, let's get into the video. So, it is Tuesday, and let's get into it. So, we got mad stubs as per usual. Okay, just to start off this Market Talk Tuesday, I'm just going to tell you. Who's ever getting your third innings inning cards now i would just go ahead and sell them because they're going to keep dropping and dropping and dropping and dropping and they're going to still drop so why do i say this because a lot of kids probably half the mlb community still has not completed the third inning collection i know my brother's one of them and he plays the game a lot so think about that and if you haven't noticed that the miggy the vlad they're all at like 40k 50k so it makes you think these guys are going to stay at 90k there's no shot they do they got to go at least down to 70k in my opinion so if you have them now go ahead and sell them that's how we're going to start off this episode so next if you have any cards i was just going to say go ahead and sell them diamonds whatever golds whatever you have just sell unless there are investments so for instance let's say you have ernie banks sell them joe tory sell them Arietta, sell them so pretty much every car besides investments but if you think people are going to go down don't sell them but for instance like mookie bets i would just go ahead and sell them if you have them like this is why i say sell them so ready friday every friday they drop headliner packs the market crashes okay when everybody buys cards when players are cheap so might as well go sell your cards now while they're a little more expensive friday they're cheap so you go buy them back for literally like what like a 10th or 20th of the price maybe in half the price sometimes so yeah okay guys so we're gonna talk about what's gonna go down friday they're dropping headliner packs and what i usually say when they drop headliner packs like i said already in this video the market crashes so all your investments what i'm doing i'm selling all my investments thursday or friday before the market crashes at 3 30 eastern time when the headliner packs come out i give them the auction like 30 miss settle and guys i'm sorry before i keep going everybody go follow my twitch i just started up a twitch it's your boy bug 16 go follow it please i'm gonna start live streaming on twitch i need my followers on twitch to get a little fan base going so go follow that as well and i'm sorry let's get back into it so okay so all the investments what i do every single time to make a ton of stubs i literally just buy a ton of investments on about monday okay before youtubers drop the roster update predictions i always buy my players about monday tuesday before they get way too high because kids invested a thousand of them so for instance let's just go over to okuna so right now okuna's 5k this is a very good time to invest in okuna especially if it goes diamond so but this is the thing so what i've noticed on friday before let's say it's friday at 12 eastern three hours before the market crashes before they drop headliner packs so okuna is at 5k if people like you'll see that like di like people are about to go diamond they get they go up in price like crazy like i don't know if they get leaked out if someone knows about them going diamond it gets leaked and they just buy a thousand or something like that but you'll see okuna like okuna has a chance he might go up to like 9k before he turns diamond if he turns diamond so what i usually do i sell him right before i make a ton of stubs so what i usually do is if, if you see your investments go up like a crazy amount i sell them right before but that's on friday not right now but yeah that's what i'm just saying all right so oh, let's keep talking okay so right now i would recommend you guys to sell all your diamond cards and get ready for friday go buy some budget cars and play with them you should have at least a couple 99s 95s for free so that's what i recommend you to do also 
Some players I would pick up. Trevor Bauer for 1,200 stubs. I know he's been playing like crap. He's still an 83. He's not going to get downgraded. He had three earned runs last game with like eight strikeouts. I would not get rid of him. He's still a good pitcher. He's just been getting a little unlucky with the home run ball. Okay, another guy we're going to talk about. Dude, Anthony freaking Rizzo has been absolutely absurd. If you saw my video yesterday, he was at 3K. He's at 45 now. Word on the street, he's going diamond. I picked up a lot of them for 1K at quick sell value. I told you guys to do that a while ago. Go pick him up. So, yeah, guys, Market Talk Tuesday. Granky, word on the street, he's going to go up too. I only have one of him. I should have got more. As you can see, we got another Okuna. So, Trevor Story, he might go diamond. People are talking about Mr. Story go diamond. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I'm not totally sure, man. Uh, let's see. We got Brad Hand. The fact that he's still quick sell value bothers me because he's a top closer right now and he's perfect in saves. Another guy, guys. Okay. So, Whit Merrifield still playing pretty decent. I have a bunch of him. What do I have? 20? 13 of him. Awesome card to get. But let's go over some diamonds, okay? So, right now, the diamonds are still pretty expensive. I literally just... Listen to me. You just have to sell these cards. And you just have to. Giancarlo's 23K. He's literally going to go down to 18K. Bellinger's 14K. He's going to go down... Literally, all these cards, you got to sell them. Please just listen to me. You'll make a shit ton of stubs. I, I just, all that's all I have to say. Baez, you just sell them. Sell everybody you got. Market Talk Tuesday, as per usual. Just telling you what to do. And I'm telling you to sell your diamonds. Go pick up some investments. This is what I'm going to say. Sell your diamonds. Pick up as many investments as possible. Getting ready for Friday. Today's the day to make investments. I made that investment video Monday. Go follow it. Pick up 500 Eduardo Escobars. Pick up 500 Josh Bells. Whatever. You're going to make stubs that way. Just go do what I tell you. You'll make literally triple the stubs if you just listen to me and get investments going, baby. People are asking me about Matt Chapman. Matt Chapman, I don't think he's going diamond. He has not been hitting well. I don't see it, man. I seriously don't see it. Oh, let's see. We got... Lorenzo Kane is decent. I just don't know, man. I'm just going to tell you, just go pick up your investments. Sell your diamonds. Sell your bronzes. On Friday, before the market crashes, sell your investments. Because if they go up in overall, you're not going to make stubs. You're, you could lose stubs. For instance, Chris uh, Cody Bellinger. Cody Bellinger, before he turned diamond, was at 19K. It sounds crazy. His gold 84 was 19K. He turned diamond and it went down to 12k. So I told you guys to sell him before he goes diamond. I literally said in one of my videos probably about a month ago. And people are like, you're crazy, bro. What are you saying? You have no idea what you're talking about. You're an idiot. You don't know shit about the auction. You're just you just have 400 subs. Well, so I had 400 subs or 300 subs at the time. Now I have 800. And kids know what I'm talking about. So, hmm, you can listen to me. You don't have to listen to me, but I'm pretty sure I know what I'm talking about. I'm literally, I talk about the auction every day. I talk about the auction every day on this channel. I know what I'm doing. As you can see, my stub count's crazy. I do this all day. I sit on the auction, like, my level's only 54. It should be gold, but if you got freaking levels for sniping and sitting on the auction and grinding, I would be gold, but that's not a thing. So, but anyways, I'm sorry for the rant. So, I'm just going to recap. I would say sell every single diamond you have unless you really think he's going to go up one or two overalls. So that's what I'm doing. Let's see if I have Kluber. I sold my Kluber. So I have sold every diamond on my team. If you do not believe me, I'm going to show you. These are all Nats. I cannot sell them. Non-auctionable players. The only one we got. He's not. He's the only auctionable player. I'm not going to. I'm just going to keep him. He's 8K. I have Rendon, he's Nat, Parker, Nat, Nat, Nat. All these players are Nat besides all my gold investments. So, yes, I sold all my diamond cards. I have a ton of stubs. And all I'm going to do is invest, invest, invest. You might see my stub count at like 375k tomorrow because I invested like in a million players. So, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you understand what i'm talking about you do if you don't just ask me a question i'll simply answer it i answer literally every single comment i get like a i literally get like 50 plus comments a video i answer all of them bro 
Like, some YouTubers don't answer them. I mean, yeah, I'm smaller, but, bro, I get crazy amount of comments. And with this, with this being said, bro, drop the sub, like the vid, drop 10K if you're new. Your boy Boggs is peacing. Have a good one. Hey, yo,